Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for joining us today at Kyla Games, and we are going to show you how, what is this thing called a sanctuary, and what does it do, and how does it work? So now uh, we just finished our KVK, the first KVK in this kingdom yesterday, and uh, you guessed it, <laughs> I got busted by another guy. And not only did he release all my heroes, he also killed all my troops and captured my leader. Yeah, so that was quite painful. Hundred and forty six million might okay versus my account which is twenty million might at that time. Anyway, so ha having lost all my troops and I do not have much infirmary uh, infirmary uh, spare capacity of only hundred and six thousand, I had around uh two hundred and fifty thousand troops, so half of my troops is gone. So where do they go? Because uh, before this update with the sanctuary, usually those troops that's not inside your infirmary will be lost permanently. But now with this update, they are all magically resurrected at this place called the sanctuary. So let's go through. So the sanctuary takes in wandering souls for those who have fallen in battle but cannot enter the infirmary. The godness blesses those with devotion the power to resurrect these poor souls so there's three rules now one is that some of some of your fallen troops that cannot enter the infirmary when it is full will be redirected to the sanctuary sanctuary effects sanctuary capacity devotion production speed devotion granted from divine tasks will go stronger as you increase your castle level third troops killed in wonder battles will not be able to enter the sanctuary so Royal Wonder, Feudal Wonders, uh, Royal Chalices, Base, Forts, etc. Will troops killed will not be able to enter the sanctuary, even though your infirmary may be full. Okay, so there's a few tasks that's inside this sanctuary. Uh, one is Divine Resurrection. Devotion will be produced when there are enough that there are troops that require divine resurrection in the sanctuary. Use devotion to resurrect your troops. More devotion is required to resurrect higher tier troops. Devotion production speed will slow down as the number of wounded troops in troops in the infirmary increases. Ah, so the more troops there are that's inside the infirmary, then production speed will slow down. So the idea is basically to get your troops killed inside the infirmary first. Divine Task. Divine Task will be available when there are troops that require Divine Reservation in the Sanctuary, yes. Complete Divine Task to earn Devotion. Divine Task will, we have completed will reset daily and can be completed again. Gain more Devotion from Divine Task by increasing your Castle level, yes. So you can see that uh, these are the different levels uh, and the Devotion base per hour and the Sanctuary capacity. So as my Castle is really at 25, so we have the max uh, capacity of 1.25 million on top of your infirmary that will spill over and be able to be resurrected and the devotion per hour even if you do nothing you will have around 1120 devotions for you to resurrect your troops so lastly divine providence troops in divine providence are blessed by the godness and can be rescued with her power however this takes time claim your troops from divine providence once the countdown ends countdown will reset when new troops arrive in divine providence okay so we have these three things divine providence divine task and divine resurrection so basically uh, every few hours uh, a certain portion of your troops will be resurrected automatically you can just press this button here like in my case collect now oh, it's done 
and it tell you what is actually better than the infirmary because infirmary you need resources to heal but in century wise they do not need any resources yeah okay so now I have uh, this uh, few devotion I have a uh, per hour of 1926 devotions Ah, the century capacity. So now there's around 86,000 that is still dead and waiting to be resurrected. Let's see what... Okay, let, let me just clear the divine task. So my daily task resets at uh, 1300 hours. So now my time in Singapore is around uh, 1800 hours. So I guess it will be the next day. So anyway, these are all the tasks. You can see open mystery boxes, complete hero stages, hit monsters, send guild help to your guildmates that get dark essence, complete admin guild tasks, gather food, gather stones, gather timber, gather ore, and gather stone. So these are all the respective uh, devotions that you can earn. I'm going to click collect all, so that will add more devotions. And I can almost resurrect all of them already because I have 80,000 out of 86,000. So let's just do it. Ah, oh, so it's not a one for one actually. Yeah. So you need more devotions. Oh no, it's one for one. Yeah, regardless of whether T1, T2 or T3. As long as uh, it's one. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, heal like this. I'm gonna use, oh no, not enough. 240,000 devotions. So maybe I'll just resurrect my T3 first for higher capacity so that I can collect the gems as well as other resources. Okay, nice. So let's see how many troops that I have now. Okay, I have 27,000 on top of the other troops that I sent out for farming. So there you have it. From the way that I see it, uh, I think Century is a, as good as Infirmary, if not even better. So for those who are planning to have maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 Infirmary as uh, the max so that you have maximum uh, capacity in terms of uh, being able to withstand ready attacks you might not need that anymore because uh, infirmary has a larger capacity and it's maybe even better for healing no but it's not as good because you cannot withstand multiple hits unlike that of infirmary where you have the resources you can instant heal yeah so pros and cons but uh, I still quite like this new addition so as long as you don't get hit very often you will have sufficient, uh, suffici sufficient time for you to resurrect your troops and have a very large capacity so you might be able to spend more in terms of man mana and build more troops all right Thank you everyone, thanks for watching this episode on Sanctuary and hope you've enjoyed. Please like and share this video with your good mates and subscribe to our channel if you have not. See you around!